Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's huddle. This is Mike. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you had a good weekend for yourself. Nice long one for some of you, others that worked. Either way, hope you had a good weekend. Hope you went out and said thank you to a serviceman or woman for their kind and generous and uh, heartfelt work that they do to protect our freedoms in this great country and frankly around the world. So let's continue to do that. Let's just not make a holiday out of it. Let's continue to do that anytime you see or know of anything, let people know. So uh, appreciate that and appreciate your time today. So let's get into this, guys. You know, I wrote in my email today, self-coaching, and, and what are some things that you can do? Oftentimes, guys, you know, you need some, you need some help. You need a good swift kick in the butt. And uh, we have to take a responsibility ourselves, and then uh, if we can't, do that then we have to obviously go outside the box but there are times when you know when you do have a coach and i recommend everybody have a coach and i need you to call me to talk about that but here's what i want you to consider you know in those times when you have some self-defeating thoughts you're not making progress you're not making the money you're you're struggling there's a challenge there's an obstacle there's something you need to overcome whatever the case might be you need to be able to uh, get yourself into a place where you can self-coach yourself through a process. Sometimes, and very often times, it can be very quick and get to the point. Sometimes you have to go a little bit deeper on some things because of the nature of where you might be at in terms of your overall business. Um, but most of the time, there's these times when there are short spurts when you feel that you're not making progress or your mindset adrifts, goes to a place where... Um, you're just not feeling it, okay? And you got to take yourself out of that so you can get yourself going again. So um, some thoughts that I want to give to you guys today are um, kind of randomly wrote my notes down here, but um, what I want you to think about is, you know, like I tell my, I'm going to say it this way, my clients will, uh, that I tell my clients, listen, you can call me anytime that you need me, okay? That's a part of my coaching and uh, there's some coaches who will not allow you to do that or whatever, but that's, it doesn't matter. What, what I'm saying is I open my door for my clients because I want them to know that I'm available to them. Now, is it perfect? You call my answer the phone and we have a conversation? Not always uh, because I'm busy, you're busy, timing and everything else. But what I do offer to people is the ability to give me a call with a question, a challenge that they're facing, whatever the case might be, and uh, we're able to communicate. Okay, and I'm able to help them and get them through something or whatever the case might be. Okay, now sometimes there's that times when, like I said, you can't get through to me and you need to get an immediate response to something. You need to handle something right now. So what I want to give to you are some techniques that I've used and uh, to to really help me get through the challenges because I have my coaches and I say coaches. I have a few people that I talk with, mentors people that I look up to and we really support each other, but I, I look at it as they're really supporting me in a lot of great areas of my business and I, and I need help uh, just like everybody else. I don't care where we're at in our business, even the greatest minds, the greatest, uh, the wealth leaders across the board have coaches and they, they take advantage of that. But there are times when you need to do it on your own. It's a DIY process, do it on your own uh, philosophy. So I want to give you some quick bullets today, some things that you can do. So if you've got a piece of paper and pen, write it down, get these thoughts, or when you're finished, go to realprofitbuilders.com, pick up this recording and sit down and listen to it. Because I want you to be able to quickly, in a snap, sit down and say, okay, what, and assess what's going on, and then give, ask yourself some questions, okay? So I'm going to kind of go off where if you had a coach, there's some things that you can do, and then there's some things that you can do on your own. So one of the first things I wrote down is you should have an affirmation partner, an accountability partner that you deal with, right? So if you don't or you don't have access to them in the moment, who's your next best affirmation partner? Who's the next best person that you can call on? And that is yourself. Sit up, look in the mirror and say, uh, and, and, and say there, there it is, my affirmation partner is me. And then what you need to do is look at yourself and say a self-coaching philosophy, if you're not feeling psychologically in the game something is amiss you're not feeling good just 
look at yourself in the mirror and say, this is what I admire about you and write down a couple of quick points. All right. And repeat that. This is what I admire about myself. And what I believe about myself is what I will become. And I wrote this down uh, in paraphrasing this. What I believe about myself is what I will become. So I believe that I believe in the very best of myself. Okay. And this is what I admire about me. This is who I am. This is what I believe. And this is why I believe in myself. Okay. Self-affirmation is a very powerful thing, but you got to stop. You got to do it and you got to take action and do that. Another thing is, um, if you're in role plays, you, you should be practicing every single day that you're working, no matter what, before you get into the game that you're going to be playing. You need to get yourself set up mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, dialogues, etc., and, and doing that. And if you if you're going through a process of delivering scripts throughout the day to to present and present your offers, sometimes you just you're not hitting it, right? So what you might think, say to yourself, "Am I saying this right? Am I what's going on here?" So what you need to do instead of calling your script partners up, if especially because they might not be available, you got to go into a conference room, pull your scripts down, and you got to do some quick chants. Take out your scripts, your dialogues, whatever you're using, and go through them really quick. Very important to do that. Great self-coaching tip. Get it up. Look in the mirror. I don't care where you do it. Go in the bathroom if you need to. Lock the door and do these uh, do these quick chants on your script. Very, very powerful thing to do. Another self-coaching tip is call your accountability partner or me, your coach, if you're working with me. Okay, Pick up the phone and just leave this a voicemail. This is what I'm going through. This is what I need to do. If you have any thoughts about this, but in the meantime, I just wanted to hear your voice on the other end of the phone. And hopefully your partners that you call on have a voicemail so you know it's really them. And by the way, guys, if you don't have a voicemail, you should put one on your phones. Just as a thought. So people, when they call you, they know who they're getting to. Okay. Anyway, um, make sure that you, uh, that you do that. That's a very, very helpful thing. Now, here's some quick things that you might be dealing with. Okay. Do you want to improve your business? And you got to, and so here's some things. Let me say it this way. If you've got some issues... Okay, these are some things that you could look at. Those are some bullets right really quick over there. But here I want to talk about what are what are some things that you can do or when you might need self-coaching. Okay, and this is when you want to get your business restarted. Okay, and you want to improve your business to the next level. Okay, the next thing you might be getting stuck or frustrated, right? And you have to ask yourself some questions in these areas, okay? The first thing I will say is keep it simple, okay? And, and what I definitely recommend is taking out a piece of paper, writing down two or three, four or five maybe max, okay? Quick bullets that you can take some actions on really quick, okay? So you want to get your business cranked up again. You want to restart it. Keep it simple, right? Keep it simple. Write down some points. Review your plans that you wrote down. Rewrite your goals, that you have set out for yourself. Don't just review the plan. Take out a piece of paper and write down two or three of your top goals. Just do that really quick. Look in, in, and write down your small wins and victories that you've had throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month, whatever it is. Take a look visually. Write those points down, some things to get yourself back in track here. Okay. The next thing, if you get stuck or you get frustrated, make sure that you're okay with being stuck or frustrated. It's perfectly normal from time to time to get stuck or frustrated. It's just a pat part of the deal. Face your truths. What's keeping you stuck and frustrated, all right? And then what is it that you need to do to work through it, okay? What's keeping you stuck? And then what is it that you need to do? You need to have that assessment and then get up and take an action with it, okay? Here's another question. What if you want to do, uh, better, if you want to improve your skills in a particular area, okay? What is it that you need to improve on? Write that down, okay? Set a plan, a specific plan to master that. Oftentimes, it's just one or two things versus a bunch of things that are standing in our way in mastering our skills. So what are those particular skills? And then what do you need to do to make that happen? And that goes back to going into the into the closet or into the conference room and, and hitting those um, uh, uh, chanting of those scripts or skills or ideas, whatever they might be, to do uh, to help you get better, okay? Um, if you are stuck and you want to break through and you want to make more money, okay, 
You have to do an assessment of your business. Let's say you're not achieving the financial outcome that you have going on. You got to go back. Okay, guys, you got to go back and look at where you are currently. What are your needs? Have they changed? Are you doing the things that you need to do? And then you need to lay out a plan of activities, strong activities for yourself that you can do right away. Now, I want you to keep these compartmentalized to the day that you're doing them. So that way you can quickly assess and do that right now and take some, take some actions on that today. And guys, I can go on and on, but here's the point of part of this is that you have to quickly assess and you got to quickly take action. You got to get up. I mean, literally, physically, get your butt up, get your body into a language of communication, powerful communication with yourself. You can't slump over the side of the desk and go into depression and, and think that I need to go into therapy for three months. You don't need any of that stuff. You can do it with a snap of a finger just by simply getting up, looking at what you need to do, write down some quick points and say, where am I at? How am I feeling? What do I need to do? Who can I call? What actions can I take? And something in that order there is perfectly fine. Okay, so here's some other final quick bullets that I want you to write down in this thought here. Okay, and these are questions that you can coach yourself to on a very, very personal level. Okay, first, According to your business plan, where should I be? Boom, write it down. Where am I relative to the goals that I have set? Okay, at this moment, do I have any real motivated clients that I can do business with? Do I have any real motivated clients that I need to do business with? Now, these, these are open-ended because it could be applied to any area of your business. Okay, the next question is, what is keeping me from achieving my goal so far? What is keeping me? And you've got to face the truth. What is that reality? Do I think my goals are realistic? Okay, stretch, realistic, stretch, realistic, stretch. Do you think they are, are they overwhelming to you? Okay, do you need to dial it back a notch and then get caught up and then go back at it again to get your goals back up? Okay, then I want you to write down this question, very important. What will I benefit? You know, I got all these challenges and obstacles faced in front of me. What are the benefits I'll receive by getting my butt back on track? Okay, what are some of the benefits? Okay, more money, more time, more freedom, cruises, vacations, buying a bigger home, a nicer car, more clothes, um, giving it to the local uh, homeless people, whatever the case might be. What are some benefits that you're going to receive? Give that self a quick assessment there. How committed are, am I to making this happen? How committed am I to making this happen? Okay, got this obstacle. I have a solution. Am I committed to it? I hope you are. Okay, and then the last couple of, of points here, um, am I going to start right now? Do I need to start right now? Will I start right now? I think that's the better one. Will I start right now? Okay, you can't wait, guys. You got to get up and you got to get back at it and do it right away. Okay, and then the last thing I want you to consider for yourself is write a very simple one-page action plan based on any particular challenge. Okay. Don't try to clump them all up in one sitting and doing going through this whole process. Break it out. Do one at a time. One in the morning, one in the afternoon, one today, one tomorrow, one this week, one next week, etc. Don't try to go, don't don't try to shove everything like a fire hose into your face, expecting that you're going to be working yourself through it. Self coaching is a very very powerful technique to help you get through something really quick. Keep it simple. You don't have to overcomplicate it. Don't worry that it's going to be a perfect response to yourself. Just look at yourself and say, I am, I am deserving more than what's currently in front of me. What do I need to do? How can I overcome this now? And write some form of something to self-coach yourself. And I, as I said, I want to make sure I reiterate this, is you got to get back at it. Okay, You got to get back at it. You got to get up, change your environment physically and mentally, but more importantly, physically, you got to literally stand up, shake your hands off, clap your hands, snap your fingers, and just look in the mirror and say, I am the best I deserve, and I'm going to do that. And here's a quick plan I'm going to create for myself, three or four bullet points, and get back at it. Okay, guys, 
man, that was a lot. Whew, I'm winded, <laughs> okay? But there's, 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 there's obviously there's a lot more. But here's what I want to suggest to you. Sit down, assess this, go back to this recording at realprofitbuilders.com. And yeah, listen, pick up the phone and call me. Listen, I have, I have a, 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 a deep value of what I do. And I don't want people to miss out on the opportunity. And uh, you owe it to yourself to give me a call. If you need help, if you have a question, let's have a conversation. No obligation whatsoever. The only obligation is you pick up the phone. Give me a holler at Mike at Mike Husson or call me at 210-5565, 910-5565. Let's have a conversation. Let me help you through some coaching. Let me help you through some guidance here. And remember, if you don't pick up the phone, you have the opportunity for yourself to make this happen. But you need the help, like we all do, and we're not super. We're not super beings where we can just accomplish everything on our own. We need other people, and this is what I'm here to offer to you. So, guys, listen. Go out, make it a great day. Do go back through these points. If you have any questions, reach out to me. In the meantime, make today your best day ever.